Welcome back everyone, Elegant Mess here. Uh, today we're going to do a nice little unboxing and quick install. Uh, I got a new sound card and uh, came in the mail today, thanks to uh, good old New Egg. Gotta love it. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get her opened up. Uh, this sound card is from Creative Labs. This is the uh, Sound Blaster uh, Extreme X5 7.1 24 channel sound card. Um, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward. The install is pretty easy. Um, yeah, it's PCI Express, just plug and play. Uh, as far as the drivers go, I'll cover that once uh, we get this open. I'm not sure if they've got uh, updated drivers on the website, probably. So uh, we'll go over that once we get her opened up. Okay, so a box from Newegg. Uh, from all the reviews that I've read, this is uh, fairly decent, not overly expensive, like the Azu Zonar, which is you know several hundred dollars uh, for the purposes that I need. This will more than suit it. So. Be very happy with this. And packing material, New Egg's invoice, uh, Creative X5 Extreme, PCIe, all that good stuff. And our box was inside of a box. I'm surprised they sent such a large box because it's so large. Oh. Some packing bubbles, some card, and they did include the uh, the drivers. I will probably still go straight to the website though, just in case they're uh, updated since then. The limited hardware warranty. Maybe a user and install guide. I'm guessing. Awesome install guides and uh, drivers. Yeah. Look at the card itself. Yeah, in pretty good shape. Nice and clean. Pretty straightforward. Just making sure I don't have any bent pins or anything. All the audio jacks look good. We've got uh, mic, headphones, 7.1, optical out, optical in, on the side. Make sure that's actually focused in for you. Your pretty uh, standard sound card. I mean, as far as gaming goes, uh, this is a fairly decent sound card uh, for gaming and video production. Um, the Virtual 7.1 I will be using with my headset. I do have a 7.1 stereo system for the computer as well. Um, so once I get this installed, I'll actually figure out how I want to set it up. I will probably be using this for the headset because that's what I use most often. And can always use the onboard audio of the motherboard. Uh, for my uh, surround sound speakers. So uh, we'll go ahead, get this plugged in, and uh, we'll go with the install. First thing we need to do is just go ahead and remove the back plate. For the PCIe slot. Just go ahead and pop the card right in place. Make sure it's seated properly. It's in all the way. Take your thumb screw and just replace that to hold it in place. Okay, 
They're installed. That easy. About 30 seconds. So we're going to go ahead, uh, get it booted up, and we'll uh, go over the drivers. Okay, so I've got the uh, side panel back on. We'll go ahead, get it started up. And if uh, any of you haven't seen any of the previous videos, uh, the system that I run is the case is the uh, Fantec M2 Primo uh, full tower case. This case is just phenomenal. I can't say enough good things about this case. Just absolutely beautiful. Um, got a new. Uh, I'll show you what this is booting up. New. Uh, Jellid fan controller in there, which I recently installed. Yeah, I'm video for that. Feel free to check it out. Fan controller is pretty sweet. I like it. Uh, the rest of the system. Intel Core i7 3770K, overclocked to about 4.5 gigahertz. Uh, graphics card. It's an MSI GTX 680 4GB graphics card, the OC edition. Uh, Intel DZ77 um, GA70K motherboard, 16 gigs, uh, G scale Aries, 1866 megahertz RAM, uh, 120 gig uh, SSD, 1TB solid state hybrid, and a 2TB drive for the video. And uh, oh, obviously the Frozen Q. Uh, reservoir, uh, access PC brainstorm block, uh, EKD5 Vario pump, which is right down the bottom where the two connect, uh, access PC uh, radiator up top, We've got uh, four 120 millimeter fans and push pull on that 140 millimeter fan in the back, two more 140 fans in the bottom, and then two more blue LED 140 fans in the front. So that's the case. Okay, so we're back. Um, I did find a beta version of uh, what do they call this for Creative Console Launcher. Now this is a different set of controls versus just the audio control panel, which looks like ah oh, there it is which is, this is the default one that it comes with. And it has just about the same sets as this one. This one just has kind of a nicer interface, a couple extra options. And like I said, this is a uh, in beta, I believe I found this on their website. Um, so you've got your configuration, auto detect, base settings, advanced is just left, right, for the headphones. Also, this is obviously all usable with uh, speakers as well in your headphones. Uh, different effects to kind of set, you know, how you want it to sound. Um, I leave that disabled. Uh, 3D effects. Um, so I've got that enabled and turned to surround for 7.1 surround. Uh, the crystallizer I have, and I have that set at 75%, and that's just for uh, how they describe it. Enhances musical dynamics by emphasizing sharp percuss percussive sounds and transients, creating a punchier and more dy dynamic listening experience. If I could actually read, that would be great. Uh, so I did enable that, and I you know, listened to it with it off and on, and it definitely makes quite a bit of difference. It is actually pretty nice. Um, an equalizer, which does come with different presets. Uh, I have found the rock is most suitable to my liking. And again, you can adjust the levels or, you know, go off any of the presets and adjust it and save it however you'd like with a, a save option right here. And then the different jacks telling you how you want it. Uh, the flexi jack, you do have to set that to microphone if you're using that for your headset, so it will detect the microphone. And that's about it. It's a pretty simple setup. Everything sounds really good. Um, got online and asked, you know, just to make sure how the mic sounded. The mic sounds good, just like it did before. And uh, you've got a main volume control here and a mute option. And that's about it. It's a pretty simple setup. 
Okay, so that wraps it up for our uh, unboxing, review, install, what have you, of the, uh, the sound card from uh, Creative Labs, the Sound Blaster uh, X-Fi Extreme 7.1 sound card. Uh, like I said, so far everything sounds really good. Uh, pretty happy with it for the price. It was very, you know, manageable. It was less than 50 bucks. And, uh, you know, it sounds really good. So I'm going to go ahead and get my game on and uh, go for it. See if everything sounds good. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, just leave them in the little comment section below. And uh, let me know if you liked the video. Just like the video if you disliked it. And, uh, you know, feel free to, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.